What's up YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Thank you guys for stopping in. Anyway, uh, we're gonna do a uh, pork butt video. I'm gonna show you how I trim a pork butt competition style. Uh, this video might be a little long, so I'm gonna apologize ahead of time, but judging from the last video I did of my competition trimmed brisket, uh, you know, that was a, a kind of long video, but you guys seem to really enjoy the, like, in-depth uh, uh, footage of me trimming it, explaining why I trim it certain ways. So I'm going to do the same thing with this pork butt. I'm going to get really aggressive with it, and I'm going to, you know, kind of explain why I do uh, uh, certain things, why I trim it up the way I do. Again, if I was cooking at home or cooking this pork butt for just around the house or a party or something... I would not get this aggressive, but for competitions, it's going to be a little different. So uh, that's what this video is going to be about. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. All right, so here's the pork butt. It is just under nine pounds. And uh, so that's the meat side. That's your fat cap side. And what we're going to do is I'm going to start with this money muscle. This part here of the pork butt is the money muscle. And if you don't know why they call it the money muscle, that's because in competitions, that's what wins money. That meat is just, man, it's a great, great piece of meat. Very tender, juicy, and uh, it'll win you some money. So what I'm going to do is I've got to cut off some of this fat. And just throughout the, the trimming, <clears throat> I'm going to trim off some excess fat if I see it. But... What I want to do is I'm going to want to try to expose this money muscle all the way around so that way we could get some good bark and smoke all the way around. And if you notice this fat cap right here, I'm just going to follow along that line. And I'll make sure to turn it back around so you can see what I'm doing. But I'm just going to cut back. A lot of this meat on top I'm not going to use, so I'm not worried about getting rid of. Or when I say I'm not going to use, I mean <clears throat> I'm not going to turn in. Um, you know, I will serve it to people out at the comps, uh, just, you know, whoever's hanging out with us. But I don't need it all, so. You want to expose the top of that money muscle. And I'm going to try to be quick with this so the video isn't too, too long. But. Cut right across the top. All right, so I got this top part exposed, as you can see. And we want to do the same thing to the bottom, but I want to also make sure I get rid of some of this fat here. <clears throat> if you get that... We're going to flip it over. We're going to do the same thing to this fat cap side. Cut about right there. And then just trim that fat cap, that, uh, <clears throat> fat cap off. Exposing the bottom part of that money muscle. Just like that, and then I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit more. All right, so I have this trimmed up. 
this money muscle trimmed up. Um, hope you can make that out, but that's that's gonna be it right here. This is what we're gonna uh, slice up and turn in. So I'm gonna be able to get bark, uh, rub and bark smoke all the way around this whole thing. So uh, this isn't very big. Eh, it's not too small either, but uh, it'll work. So there's uh, and you know I'm probably gonna just tighten this up just a little bit more, uh, just to make it a little more even, but. You kind of get the idea. So <clears throat> in the pork butt, you have your money muscle. And then kind of behind that, down here in the middle, behind this fat cap, you have your tubes. And then you have your, uh, so your money muscles, we're going to get slices. Your tubes, you could get pulled from. And this part of the pork butt where the bone is, that's called the horn. That's where you're going to get your chunks from. So we want to do the same thing to this that we did to the money muscle. We want to expose it. And this usually, I mean, if you've ever cooked a, a pork butt, you know what I'm talking about. This part here, there's just like a ton of uh, fat, silver skin that we want to trim away. And it's usually in this area. So you just want to get that exposed and since we want to get some rub and you know bark and smoke here I'm going to take this part off I know what you're thinking man you're wasting a lot of pork butt well I am but this is gonna allow me to cook it faster and uh, you know this part I'm not gonna turn in anyway so but also with this uh, you know we're not gonna throw away we're going to save this and we, you, know, you can use this in uh, another recipe. Uh, I use, uh, well, I actually use some of my pork trimmings uh, to make a pork injection. So, you know, while we're not cooking it, it isn't totally going to waste. So, I'm going to put that aside because I'm actually going to save that. <coughs> so, as you can see, this horn here. Is a lot more exposed and it goes all the way around and I'm gonna have to expose the bottom part too here but before I get to that you'll also notice all this silver skin we want to make sure we get that off it's just like the silver skin on a brisket that you want to make sure you remove want to make sure your rug can stick to that all right so I got the silver skin removed from the top we're gonna to flip it over um, also if you notice here sometimes there's this little bitty bone here sometimes in a pork butt it's there sometimes it isn't if it's there then go ahead and trim it out you want to do that now not at the end this thing will pop right out I can get my knife around it. There you go. Just remove that little bone. <clears throat> so now we're going to flip it over and do the fat cap side. All right, so we're going to go about the same distance, about halfway. And just remove this fat cap, exposing the horn. Make sure you're trimming this code, your pork butt is code, just makes it a whole lot easier. So now that I got it exposed, I'm going to clean it up just a little bit. All right, so here you have the horn exposed. You got it here. Now I'm going to be able to get rub, uh, bark, smoke all around this, this horn here. And that's where your chunks are going to come from. 
Again, to cut this, this part is really going to be useless. So you have the you have the horn here, right? That's exposed. You get smoke all the way around it, and then on the other side you have your money muscle here that we're going to be able to get smoke and bark all the way around, and then. This fat cap, I'm actually going to leave just the way it is because if I start trimming that away, you'll see the tubes are going to be like right under that fat cap. And the tubes will tend to dry out if you're not careful with them. So this, this fat is actually going to help insulate the tubes. And you'll see what I'm talking about um, once it's done cooking and we pull it apart. So I'm going to tighten it up just a little bit, just kind of trim off a little bit of loose ends, and then we're going to get it injected. I do have a competition coming up where we're turning in pork butt. So if I run that recipe today on this practice run, I'm, I'm not going to talk about what rubs I use, but we'll see. I'm not, I haven't decided exactly what rubs I'm going to use, so quite honestly. We are going to get it injected, and I'll show you that injection next all right so for the injection what I'm gonna do is take a eight ounce bottle of Italian dressing and we're just gonna strain out all the garlic and seasonings on the inside of this from the actual dressing itself get this all strained out this injection is killer I'm telling you guys I probably shouldn't be sharing it but I'm gonna share it with you guys anyway <clears throat> only because I've shown it before so <laughs> Just a little bit more and that's good Just kind of push that last of the Italian dressing out and then save all this stuff. So we're going to take the, the seasoning here and we're going to put that aside. Let's just dump it right in here. We're going to save that. Next I'm going to add equal parts <clears throat> apple juice to the um, to the dressing so that was an eight ounce container uh it's probably more like six and a half to seven um once you take all that stuff out so i'm just gonna add about the same amount of apple juice that's about equal parts yeah that's good you can measure it you can eyeball it i use this recipe all the time so i kind of got an idea of what to do with it or how much to pour so with this whatever rub that you're going to use on the outside you want to use that on the inside so what I'm going to do is take the rub that I'm going to put on the outside and just just add some of this to this no set amount just until you think there's enough in there it just comes out to a little less than a tablespoon This is not the recipe that I'm going to use at the competition after all, so I'll go ahead and show you what I'm using. Just a second. Give that a good stir. <clears throat> we'll set this aside. The rub that I'm going to use on this pork butt is the Smoking Guns Barbecue Rub, the hot. Excellent, excellent rub. So the flavor on the outside of the pork butt, I also want to make sure I get on the inside. So that's this here. And we're gonna take this and inject the pork butt. Now, the rest of this season in here, put that aside. 
what I'm going to do is take some mustard and just combine it with this. Give this a little mix. And we just want to create a paste. Now this mustard is kind of thick uh, on its own, so I am going to add a little bit <clears throat> of apple juice. Just kind of thin it out some. about that consistency that'll work that's perfect the last thing I'm gonna add to this is just some kosher salt a little bit of kosher salt and some coarse black pepper We're gonna give this a mix, and this is gonna be our binder on the outside of our pork butt for uh, our rub. All right, so I got my pork butt here. Let's go ahead and get it injected. You wanna make sure to get it injected really good. What I'm doing here is I'm not actually pushing the injection in just yet. I'm making a pocket. After I make my pocket, then I'm gonna fill it with injection. You can kind of see it swell up. So just find a spot, poke around a little bit, make yourself a pocket. Do it on the other side. Poke around, make a pocket, fill it up. <clears throat> poke around, make a pocket, fill it up. So that's how I do it. Now this pork butt can take quite a bit of injection, so don't skimp on it. Make a pocket, fill it up. <clears throat> I will tell you though, the only only exception, uh, the only exception to uh, making sure, uh, or the only difference, or the only exception that I'm going to suggest uh, when when it comes to injecting, uh, I mentioned just a minute ago. You know, don't be afraid. Pump it up as much as you can. The only exception will be with the money muscle. There's a lot of fat in there. It does not need as much injection as the rest of the uh, pork butt. So create a pocket, fill it up. Fill it up. Poke around, make a pocket, fill it up. Remember these tubes are down in here, so I wanna make sure I get in there really good get those tubes with the money muscle well, I'll come back to this part but poke around a little bit pump it up <clears throat> it's not gonna take much okay so not like the rest of it so it's about uh -oh. I think that's about all I want to put in there. So right underneath here, hit those tubes in the back, make sure you get down into them, add some flavor to them. I'm gonna get the rest of this injected and we'll get it rubbed up. So let's get this rubbed down. I already did the, the uh, bottom side. So just put that paste right over Give it a good coating. This uh, mustard Italian mixture really adds a like a nice little kick on the outside of this pork butt. So it's, it does a little more than just uh, serve as a purpose or binder purpose. It's actually going to add flavor. <clears throat> Most times when you use a binder, it's not adding a whole lot of flavor. Uh, you, you're just simply using it as a binder but this one here uh, acts as both as a binder and as an additional 
layer uh, of flavor. So we're gonna let this sit. I got my Weber Smoky Mountain coming up to temp. And I'm gonna probably do this one hot and fast. I'm gonna see how that turns out. I'll cook around 275 to 300 on this one. And I'll spritz it throughout the cook with regular apple juice. And we'll see how it turns out. So this is how I trim it up, inject it, rub it down. Uh, you know, there's some of the reasons why I do it this way. I want to make sure we get bark around the entire money muscle, around the entire horn. Um, you know, it's just going to help. As, if you could get as much flavor on this thing as possible all the way around, it's just that much better in my opinion. So we're going to let it sit and uh, we'll get it on the Weber Smoky Mountain. We'll check back on it uh, in a few hours. All right, so the pork butt has been going for about four hours. As you see, we've got some nice color on here. We're going to take a quick temp for this money muscle. 180. So it still feels a little tough though. Let's see, see the rest of this pork butt is way under, but it actually feels more tender. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this. We're gonna take this inside and wrap it. And uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna add to the wrap. So we'll bring it back out. Let me check this brisket, 160. It's a brisket I'm cooking for a coworker. So, uh, but that's not part of this video. Anyway, we're gonna check this horn. You know, the horn is reading about the rest, just like the rest of the pork butt. So, we're gonna take this inside, we're gonna wrap it up, and I'll pick back up once we get inside to wrap it. All right, the pork butt is in a pan. We're gonna go ahead and add some sweetness to it, and I'm gonna treat this just like I do my ribs. So I'm gonna take some brown sugar. I still have some fat that I need to render. So as we wrap it, that fat will continue to mix with all this sweetness and give us a nice little au jus to dip it in. So we got that, we're gonna take some butter. You can use squeezed butter. I don't have any, so I just sliced up some butter. I want to make sure it gets some right over that money muscle. Next, I'm going to take some honey. right over the top again I think this sweetness is gonna go well with that rub that rub has some kick to it, it has some heat to it so the sweetness with that heat I think is gonna be excellent Ow. we're gonna come back with some tiger sauce and a little bit of barbecue sauce. I'm using the barbecue sauce from uh, Killer Hogs. You can use whichever sauce you like. We're gonna get that wrapped up. Some foil back on the smoker and let it go for another hour. All right, so I just checked the pork butt here and it is done. That muddy muscle is really tender. It's reading about uh, 198 in some spots upper 90s upper 190s so that's good the rest of it i probed it nice and tender so uh we're gonna pull this off let it rest for a little bit and then we'll uh cut into it and see what it looks like all right so this pork butt has been resting here you've got your uh, horn your money muscle in fact let's just go ahead and start with this money muscle real quick i'm gonna cut this right off And let's put this aside for just a second.
Mm. Mm, mm, mm. There's your money muscle. Definitely got bark all the way around it. Let's uh let's cut into this and see what these slices look like. It cuts really well. <clears throat> it cuts really well. I did let it sit a little longer than I was planning on. That's all right. Put that aside. So here, let's see what they look like. Let's just fan them out. Actually, let's turn it this way. There's your money muscle. And if I just, I don't know, grab one from the middle here. So you could make this out. This thing, this, uh, this chunk here still has plenty of moisture in that look at that tons of moisture which is good look at that these things are not dried out at all so that's beautiful so if we're doing a box of course those would go in the box all right here's a little piece of the this piece here is from the end so we'll take a bite <laughs> yeah buddy so these are beautiful definitely loving the flavor so there's your money muscle again just take another piece here you can see it's pretty juicy so I'm happy with that let's get into this <clears throat> to this horn All right, so here's the horn Or where that blade bone is and uh, I'm just gonna Separate this Put that away for now And right here Because we're gonna get your chunk. So we'll just start pulling here Like that. It's a nice chunk a Nice little chunk the texture from the horn, the meat in the horn, is going to be different from the texture from the meat in the uh, money muscle or in the tubes. Whoa. Just trying to get in here and pull this off. So, you can get some really good chunks here. Here, give that piece to the dog. Let's give this a try. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Comes right off the bone. Where do I want to? I'll grab it right here. Nice little chunks. <clears throat> See if we can make it out in here. But these aren't. See this chunk here? Got some nice bark on it. As you can see, it's not dried out either. Look at that moisture. So there's still plenty of moisture in this thing. So those are gonna be your chunks. I'm gonna pull it all apart just yet. Uh, at least not the, the horn part. So then we're gonna take the middle section here. And what you're gonna dig for some tubes. Here's that fat cap on top. I'm just going to pull that fat cap off. And as you start pulling it off and digging in here, let's see if we can find these tubes. You'll start, there you go. Man, can you see that moisture on the inside of this? That is a ton of moisture. 
This thing's not dried at all. So here's a good tube here. Oh, is this part of the tube? See this strand here? That would be a good little piece. Let's keep digging. Usually you get a couple. And that any fat on the inside of here, we want to make sure we get rid of that. As we're digging. Uh oh, I think I just tore into one. Yeah. It looked like one here. They kind of tore into. Oh, here's oh, is this one. Here you go. Let's get this fat removed. So these tubes are there's just these little chunks like this here, strands of pork. <clears throat> the bigger the pork butt, the better chance of getting some good tubes. But that, you know, that's where you'll get your shred. So like you'll take this and just shred it apart, you know, so you get your money muscle, your chunks, and your pulled here. Oh, look at that. Right there. Good chunk. So that's it. Again, this is where your pool is going to come from, right in here. Mm. Since you don't get any bark on this, <clears throat> you want to make sure that you, you hit it really good when you're doing the injection at the beginning. That's why we get in there a whole lot and inject it really well. Because we want to make sure we get some flavor down into this. So, that's it. <clears throat> but let me clean this up a bit. God, that pork butt smells good. Tastes good. So I've got some money muscle. Some nice chunks. All right, look at that bark. God, nice bark. Some tubes we get some pulled from. You know, we don't get to do this a whole lot down here in Texas for competitions. Um, most of the competitions don't have pork. So I'm really, you know, when I do this, uh, I got to, like, be honest and say it's not something that I do every time for a cook-off. So this is definitely something I'm still learning at as we go. I think in one of the uh, leagues down here, the rule just changed where we can actually add, and I'll have to look it up again, but if I read it correctly, we can actually add the money muscle tubes, pulled pork, I mean the uh, chunks, whatever we want. So in the past, it's just been, <clears throat> we turn in one big pile of pulled, and I think this year they changed the rules for that. So anyway, that's uh, a pork butt. Man, this thing is juicy as all get out. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna get the rest of this pulled up. We are actually going to have some of this for dinner, but that's my pulled pork video, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, sorry, our video is so long. It is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care.